Joel chapter 1. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Pethuel. Listen to this, you elders, and pay attention, all you inhabitants of the land. Has anything like this happened in your days, or even in the days of your forefathers? Tell your children about it, and let your children tell their children, and the next generation after that. What the crawling locust left, the swarming locust has eaten. What the swarming locust left, the hopping locust has eaten. And what the hopping locust left, the destroying locust has eaten. Awake, you drunkards, and weep, wail, all you wine drinkers, because the new wine has been cut off from your mouth. For a nation has invaded my land, strong and without number. Its teeth are the teeth of a lion, and it has the fangs of a mighty lion. It has destroyed my grapevines and stripped the bark from my fig trees. It has stripped them bare and thrown them away. Their branches have turned white. Lament like a young woman dressed in sackcloth, mourning the loss of her husband. The grain offering and the drink offering are cut off from the house of the Lord. The priests, who minister before the Lord, mourn. The fields are in ruins, the ground mourns. For the grain is destroyed, the new wine is dried up, and the olive oil languishes. Be ashamed, you farmers. Wail, you vine dressers, for the wheat and the barley, because the harvest of the field has perished. The grapevine is dried up, and the fig tree withers. The pomegranate tree, the palm tree, and the apple tree, indeed, all the trees of the field, have withered. Joy has withered away from the sons of men. Put on sackcloth and lament, you priests. Wail, you ministers of the altar. Come, spend the night in sackcloth, you ministers of my God, because the grain offering and the drink offering are withheld from the house of your God. Declare a holy fast, call a solemn assembly. Gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God, and cry out to the Lord. Alas for the day! For the day of the Lord is near, and it will come as destruction from the Almighty. Is not the food cut off before our very eyes? Joy and gladness are taken from the house of our God. The seeds rot under the clods. The storehouses are desolate. The granaries are torn down because the grain has withered. How the animals groan! The herds of cattle wander about in confusion because they have no pasture. Even the flocks of sheep suffer. O Lord, I will call to you, for the fire has consumed the pastures of the wilderness, and flames have scorched all the trees of the field. Even the beasts of the field cry out to you, for the water streams have dried up, and the fire has consumed the pastures of the wilderness.